The search for alien life in our universe seems to be a tedious one, but scientists at the University of Texas and the Southwest Research Institute claim that extraterrestrials could potentially already exist within our own solar system. Which means my dream of hugging an alien might finally come true. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. What is good space potatoes? Welcome back to another IO video. I'm going to fill you in on a process called radioalysis. Basically, all you need is a rocky core and water molecules in order to breathe life. According to a study, rocky cores of some planets and moons release radiation, which breaks up water molecules and that feeds microbial life. Aw oh man, microbial aliens, why can't we find a bigger alien? How the heck am I supposed to hug an amoeba? Kind of anticlimactic if you ask me, but I mean, microbial alien life is still technically alien life, and maybe that microbial life supports a larger ecosystem that we don't yet know about. Like maybe there's this little itty bitty alien microbe, but then maybe there's an alien crustacean that feeds off that microbe, and then maybe there's some sort of alien fish thing that feeds off that crustacean. We just don't know, we can only hypothesize. If you didn't know already, there are several planets and moons in our solar system with rocky cores and water. Saturn's moon Enceladus, Jupiter's moon Europa, and Pluto as well as its moon Charon all have a rocky core and water. Scientists conducted an experiment to help predict how radiation would affect interior oceans. The lead author of the study, Alexis Bouquet, said the physical and chemical processes that follow radioalysis release molecular hydrogen, which is a molecule of astrobiological interest. Radiation comes from elements like potassium, uranium, and thorium, which are all part of a group called crondites. Pluto, as well as Saturn's and Jupiter's moons, are made up of crondites. So, in simpler terms, any ocean water that permeates the core of a planet or a moon could be affected by radiolysis, and radiolysis produces the building blocks for life. And if you're looking for an example of life that starts this way, it even exists on our own planet, in extreme environments, usually with hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. But of course, we can't just estimate and predict that alien life exists on other planets. We actually need hard proof. That's why NASA is sending a spaceship to Europa in the next few years. Anyways, that is all I have for you on that. I'm going to respond to some comments. Morgan the tactician said, Charolette, are you 47? 48 actually, but thanks for saying I look younger. Herod13 said, my super ability is eating. I am also very good at eating. I ate a whole bag of chips all by myself. Tyan Cyan said, three views, laugh my ass off. Why is this channel failing? Thanks for the sass, buddy. I think you clicked on the video before everyone else. The channel isn't failing. In fact, our company is expanding. We have a couple great new channels, including Life's Biggest Questions. I write for that channel, as well as Top 10 Nerd, which is doing really well. Definitely check those out if you haven't already. But if not, subscribe to IO, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.